Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to look at the Shadow Caster expansion for the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. This is a scum ship. We're going to go over the model, the pilot cards, and the upgrade cards. There's also a new mobile firing arc, which is really cool. I mean, I'm not going to set it up for you right now, but basically you're going to use this dial in addition to setting up the ship. And as an action, it can be rotated, and uh, you can use this as a primary weapon attack. So whatever direction it's facing, you can shoot out of that direction. Uh, secondary weapons still require the primary firing arc, though. But that's really cool. It's an interesting new concept to the game. You've also got this uh, debris, I guess, cloud that came with it. Uh, and as an action via one of these upgrade cards, you can drop it behind you, sort of like a bomb. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over the model real quick. Give you some close-ups if we can. There's the front. Looks really sleek, I gotta say. I really like it. All right. And the pilots. Let's go take a look at that. All right, now I'm gonna butcher these names. Uh, pilot skill seven. Uh, Ketsu Onyo. Uh, Lancer class, Pursue Craft. 3 attack, 2 agility, 7 hull, 3 shields. Focus, target lock, evade, and that uh, rotate uh, the mobile firing arc action, as I was talking about earlier. At the start of the combat phase, you may choose a ship at range 1. If it is inside your primary and mobile firing arcs, assign one tractor beam token to it. That's cool. Cost of 38 points. This is a pretty expensive ship. Alright. Uh, Asage... Ventress, okay. At the start of the combat phase, you may choose a ship at range 1 to 2. If it is inside your mobile firing arc, assign one stress token to it, cost of 37. Sabine Wren, uh, when defending against an enemy ship inside your mobile firing arc, at range 1 to 2, you may add one focus result to your roll, cost of 35. And last but not least, the no-named one, uh, Shadow Port Hunter, cost of 33, no special ability here. And then it tells you how to use cargo, like I was saying, uh, you can drop this thing uh, outside your rear guard, sort of like a bomb token, the debris cloud. So it comes with the reference cards associated with that. And then as far as the upgrade cards go, let's go ahead and take a look at these. Some of these seem to be repeats. Veteran Instincts, I'm not going to bother going over that one, I already know what that one does. IG-88D, scum only, you have the ability, the pilot ability of each friendly ship with the IG upgrade in addition to your own pilot ability. Oh, that's really cool. Interesting. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that blows me away. I just didn't think that you could... Okay. That's going to open up some new opportunities. Uh, Ketsu on you. At the start of the end phase, you may choose one enemy ship inside your firing arc at range 1 to 2. That ship does not remove its tractor beam tokens. Okay. Lats Razzi. Uh, when defending, you may remove one stress... Uh, token from the attacker to add one evade result to your roll. Black Market Slicer Tools, I think I've seen this already. As an action, choose a stressed enemy at range 1 to 2 and roll one attack die. On a hit or crit, remove one stress token and deal it one face down damage card. Okay. There's two of those. Rigged Cargo Shoot. As an action, discard this card to drop one cargo token. Countermeasures, large ship only modification. At the start of the combat phase, you may discard this card to increase your agility by one. I think I've seen this already, so I'm not going to bother reading that off. Gyroscopic targeting, Lancer class, pursuit craft only modification. At the end of the combat phase, if you executed a 3, 4, or 5 speed maneuver, you may rotate your mobile firing arc. Okay, that's a nice reaction there. It's a cost of two. Tactical jammer, we already know what that one does. It just obstructs enemy attacks. There's two of those. Shadowcaster title. After you perform an attack that hits, if the defender is inside your mobile firing arc and at range 1 or 2, it may assign the defender one tractor beam token. Okay, nice. Alright, so there you go. That's a quick look at the upgrade cards. And as far as this goes, I mean, it's an example of the mobile firing arc here. I don't think there's anything else. There's new missions, of course. And here's a look at the maneuvers, for those of you that are curious. There's a 5k turn. It's red. Everything else is either white or green. Uh, the ones in the one speed are white, but still, it's, I'm, I'm glad that it can actually just go forward a little bit. Uh, so a lot of Imperial ships, for example, like the Tyner Scepter, have a hard time just going one straight. They can only like, do like a one hard bank. And in this case, you can actually just go one straight, one slight turn. Uh, the green maneuvers seem to be all the threes and uh, the four and two straight. 
So there you go, folks. That is the Shadow Caster expansion. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.